one of my core philosophies is that the key barrier to our expanding and growing as individuals and then as organizations is about the assumptions we hold about ourselves and other people. And a big part of the work I do is supporting people to challenge those assumptions and recognize those are only limitations. And the fewer limitations we put on our perception of the world, the more we let the world become the fullest it can be. So the broader we are on the inside, the broader the world gets on the outside. I spent the first 10 years of my career working in politics, working for elected officials, working as a consultant for public agencies. For the next 10 years, I started and ran a nonprofit that was focused on creativity and how young people can access that in their lives and really find the courage to be who they are. So the work that I do in the world now is really about blending those two things, blending the pretty deep knowledge and understanding I have about larger systems with the understanding of how powerful it is when people can access and unleash their own creativity. And when those two things come together, it feels like magic happens. Creativity, it's something that I think people have thought has been relegated to artists and elite scientists. And yet it's something that all of us have. All of us have a capacity to imagine new possibilities and challenge assumptions that we walk around with. And inside of organizations, we typically don't create much space for people to be creative. We tend to focus on strategic plans, where we want to go, how much we want to produce, and when we want to get there. And people's creativity works in a much more non-linear fashion. So part of what I'm exploring with organizations right now is to really honor the fact that if we invest in creativity in people, in the individuals that work in our organizations, if we invest time to let people really understand how to bring more of themselves into the workplace, that will fuel all kinds of collective creativity for the organization. A lot of people, I think, are losing faith in our government institutions and in public agencies that really provide the safety net for so many people in our society. There seems to be some ideas around letting the private sector take over a lot of this work. And I think the solution lies in reinvigorating government in a different way, and that will involve deeply supporting the individuals who work inside of public agencies to connect again to themselves, to their core mission, to their purpose in life, and their authentic creativity, and convene them in ways that they understand their power as a group. Individuals within government agencies have the power to transform those systems, but we can't get there unless we really invest in them and we support them to be their best. There's an incredible feeling that happens when you watch someone identify parts of themselves that are old, that haven't been serving them, their old ideas that keep them stuck and keep them unfulfilled and disconnected from their purpose. And when they see those clearly, and then they choose to release them and to choose a new vision for themselves, and you're a witness to that, it's an incredible honor and it's exhilarating to see people step forward in their lives that way. And in that moment, you know that they can do anything they wanna do.